Hello my friends and welcome back to another beautiful video. Today we've got something very special here. We're looking at a really old school video from Alpha Genesis channel way back in the day when he still went by Brother Jared. I want to make it very clear, this is not an attack on Alpha Genesis. A lot of people love to attack Alpha Genesis. I don't attack folks. I just like to hear people's points of views and discuss them and things like that. But anyways, we're going to get into this today. If you want to hear the original video, I'm going to drop a link to it below. If you want to hear it with me interrupting every minute or so, then you're in the right place. So so the reason we're looking at this video today is because it's a story about how Alpha Genesis met a cosplay girl online. He kind of shows a lot of the ideas that are associated with the whole nice guy culture of getting mad when a girl doesn't want to message you back and things like that. Now a lot of you are going to see this and be like, man, he was crazy. A lot of others of you are going to see this and be like, man. I feel the same way as he does. So we're just going to get into this today. Because I know a lot of y'all uh, are young men. Sometimes you can be angry and upset. I don't want you to make these mistakes that, uh, that Alpha Genesis made. With that having been said, please hit the thumbs up. Unless you are a beta soy boy cuck. Yo, what up guys? It's Xbox Jared here. Uh, I got a quick little story for you. About a girl I met. Well, not really met, but talked to on the internet. A cosplayer. Uh, a lot of these cosplayers, man, don't even waste your time with. They're all fake. They're all just, you know, attention whores. He's talking about the cosplay girls, right? He says they are all fake. They're all attention whores. Now, what we're seeing here is how when you have a bad experience with somebody or something you don't like, sometimes we can say that everyone in this category is the exact same, right? And that's something we got to be careful of, mindful of, you know, myself included. Just because we have one bad experience with a person who's part of a certain group, we can't, we can't become convinced that everyone who's in that group is a bad person, right? Now, I also want to point this out and make it very clear that aside from a few very controversial um, things that Alpha Genesis has stated in the past, aside from those, I think he's very interesting, very entertaining. And when I saw this one, I was like, man, we should really talk about this because I think we can learn some valuable lessons from it. I should also point out this video is several years old, and I imagine Alpha Genesis probably um, thinks has an entirely different point of view now than he may have back then. You know what kind of people I'm talking about, but every once in a while you might find someone real, but it's just uh, <laughs> far from few, man, far from few. But uh, there was a girl. I saw on a YouTube video, um, sometimes I watch prank videos, and there's one called Mediocre Films. He went to a Comic Con and just started messing with a bunch of girls. It was pretty funny. But there was this one girl who actually seemed legit to me. Like, she didn't really seem stuck up. She seemed nice. She looked like a waifu material. Uh, her name was Lady Danger. Uh, with two E's because she's just that edgy, I guess. But. <laughs> So right here, as he's introducing us to the, um, the cosplayer girl who's going to be one of the main characters in this story, we can see that as he discovered who she was on that YouTube video he talked about, he kind of already started having some ideas in his head of how she may be, right? Of who she may be, what she may be like. And uh, I think that's pretty natural for us to develop ideas in our head about what somebody may be like, right? About the possibilities that may be there. You say, this person may, we may have some things in common. We may get to know each other. We might... But we, we always want to be careful with the ideas that we develop in our heads about somebody before we, you know, meet them or anything like that. Because sometimes we can develop an idea of them, like a total personality, a total, you know, who they are, what they are, what they're about. And then come to find out, it ain't nothing like we thought it was going to be. And then we can find ourselves feeling upset with that person for not sort of living up to the expectations we had of them, right? So we want, we want to be careful about that sort of thing. Let's continue. So, I was thinking to myself, hmm, uh, I'm probably, you know, somewhat of an idiot to do this, but I'm just going to message her just to see what she's like, just to see if she'll talk to me. And, I mean, who knows, maybe one day we can meet up or something. That would be really awesome. So, I decide to be an idiot, and I message her on Facebook, and I'm like, yo, what's up? Uh, you know, I saw you on this YouTube video. Uh, I think you're fine, and I think you're funny. I didn't go too heavy. I didn't. I didn't start. You know, uh, I did. I did say some stuff on the video, but I tried not to let her see that. But, anyways, uh, you got to keep it real with women like that. You can't trip too hard, otherwise they'll block you. But, um, 
so she talked to me for a little bit, you know, and she was like, yeah, my name's Lady Danger, you know, two E's because I'm just that edgy. No, she didn't say that. I was hoping she would, but uh, no, she was just like, you know, yeah, thanks for reaching out to me, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm a cosplayer. We only talked for a very short while, okay? Like, everything I just said was pretty much our entire conversation. So I was like, hmm, okay, well, the fact that she messaged me, you know, I can respect that because a lot of people wouldn't. A lot of people would just read and delete, you know, maybe like your comment, you know, like on Twitter. And that's pretty much it. So as you see, we're starting to get to that point where, you know, he sent the message. She actually replied, right? She replied. And now we're getting to the point where you know what's coming, right? You always know what's coming in this sort of situation. It's because once she gives you that reply, sometimes guys will feel like, hey, I got my foot in the door. Let's get this ball rolling. But that's not always what it means, you know. Uh, in certain circumstances, if she replies, maybe she's just trying to be nice, right? Like if she is a cosplayer and she's got like, um, you know, like a fandom of some sort and maybe she likes to reply to her messages and to be nice and you know, maybe it doesn't mean you got your foot in the door. So be careful before you think that, my friends. Matter of fact, because this sort of thing happens so often, that's why a lot of times she won't even message you back, right? She won't even reply to your message because she doesn't want that setup to be set up like this, you know? The, hey, I got the message back. It's time to get our relationship rolling. I was even following her on Twitter. We'll get into that in a second. But so, yeah, I was messaging this girl on Facebook. Uh, I would drop her a line, you know, every day or two, just say what's up or something short like that. And I was noticing she'd read my comments, but she, most of the time she wouldn't respond back. And so I was thinking to myself, you know, hmm, you know, okay, I, I get it. She's busy. She's got a few hustles. You know, she's a cosplayer and she's got some other job. But still, I was thinking, like, you know, why can't this bitch just drop me a short line? You know, at least something like, you know, hey, what's up? How's your day? But now I want you to notice some of the language that he uses, too. Right there, he said, why can't this bitch drop me a line? Now, this is after the fact. However, talking about her like that after the fact shows. Follow me here. Check this out. If things didn't work out with us and I'm talking about her and saying this bitch, why can't this bitch do that? It shows that I never really had respect for her in the first place. Nothing. I didn't get nothing from her, you know, and it would sh it would show that she read my message, but nothing, dude. So that's when a lot of the, you know, nice guys start getting mad, is they say she read my message, but she didn't reply. Uh, so what they're failing to realize is they want her to reply, but maybe she doesn't want to reply. <laughs> maybe she doesn't see a reason to. Maybe she doesn't really want to have anything to do with you. Now, folks take that as like an insult, as in a personal attack, right? Like, this person is not messaging me back. They must hate me. <laughs> But that's not how it is. That's really not how it is most of the time. If someone's not messaging you back, maybe maybe they got a lot going on and they don't have a desire to chat with you. And that's going to happen. That's going to happen a lot, especially depending on, you know, who you're talking to. You know, if it's someone who really relates to you and your life and the way that you live your life and the things that are important to you, maybe they're more likely to message you back. If it's someone who lives a completely different life than you live, maybe they're not going to message you back. That's just something to accept and embrace. And I'll tell you, baby, I'll tell you, I've got a lot of people who I really look up to, but I wouldn't actually message them personally. Why? Because I know their lives are extremely different than mine, and they've got so much going on, they probably don't want to have a damn thing to do with me. But I know it's nothing personal. We always have to ask ourselves, what is the value we can give to somebody? And this applies to dating as well. So this goes on for about a week. And then all of a sudden, you know, she does drop me a short line. And again, it's just a very, very short conversation. Hey, how are you? You know, oh, I'm just real busy. Uh, I'm doing this. And, and again, that, that was the entire conversation right there, what I just said. Uh, those three different lines, that was it. So at this point, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, okay, maybe I just need to up my game. Maybe I just need to be, you know, like, Romeo and Juliet up in here, show some passion, show some love, some of that red hot cringe lord love. Or maybe you could take the hint that she's not interested in you. And that's not an insult to him because there are countless other guys who would experience the exact same thing if they were trying to message her, right? She would have no interest in them. And that's not a personal attack on them. It just means she's not interested. Give up. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, dude. I was just thinking, like, in my mind, I was like, this is how much of an idiot I am. I was thinking, like, you know what? I bet I don't have any competition 
with this girl because she's just around a bunch of cringe lords all day. She's around a bunch of virgins. So I, I know I must be able to land something with this bitch. Again, calling her the bitch, right? Now, I really want you to follow me here. Listen, if I'm gonna talk about her and talk about her behind her back and say this bitch this, this bitch that, someone who's gonna be talking about you like that because it didn't work out, it's a good thing if it didn't work out. Because even if it did work out, they still weren't going to actually respect you as a person. But apparently, she must like being around cringe lords because she didn't give me no time of the day, man. Uh, and the other day, I just lost it, man, because I can't stand people. I cannot stand people who are so fake that they won't even give you the time of the day, especially when you're trying to be nice to them. And there we have it. The exact, that nice guy mentality, you know, it says I'm trying to be nice to her and she can't even message me back. That's the mentality right there, my friends. And again, if any of you relate to that, you know, it's, it's not over for you, boyo, is what I'm trying to say. I just want you to realize that maybe she doesn't want to have a damn thing to do with you. And that's okay. That's okay. You may say, base shaman, none of them want to have a damn thing to do with me. I'll say if that's the case, we want to find some ways to increase the value that she sees in you, right? You know, get some looks maxing going on, some confidence maxing going on, some money max going on, some drive max going on, all right? Driving, how driven are you? That's some real deal Holyfield shit. But we're not getting to all of that right now. Let's continue. And you're, you're trying to show them that you genuinely like them. I, I can't stand that shit. It just drives me nuts. But check this out. If you genuinely liked her, here, here's the question. If you genuinely like her and she doesn't want to message you, that's their choice. That's the bottom line is it's their choice. And it serves us no purpose whatsoever to get mad or upset when someone else in their day-to-day -day life doesn't want to message us back. And when we've got our own shit going on that we're working on, that we're working towards, that we're achieving, we're not going to be so concerned whether or not they message us back. But I've got a feeling that a lot of the nice guys don't have that much going on in their life and they're looking to fill that void and they're hoping she can fill that void for them. And when she doesn't message them back, they feel like she's uh, contributing to their unhappiness. It gets, they take it very personally. So, um, yeah, we got into it pretty heavy, man. I told her, I, th I said right to her tits, dude. I said, I think you're fake. And I said, I think that, well, I didn't say this. I wish I would have said this. But I basically, I wanted to say, I just didn't think to, that, you know, her hustle is exploiting beta males. And that's messed up. Because that's what her hustle is, if you think about it. But that was irrelevant before, though, right? Before, when he was trying to get with her, that wasn't such a big deal. But now that he feels upset because she didn't message him back, now he's got a problem with it, right? So now he's finding these reasons to, uh, you know, to justify his feelings. And that's what the nice guys will do. If things don't work out, if you don't message him back, all of a sudden they find all these reasons to, uh, you know, insult you or what you do or all this. And that's just, you know, it's the... And again, I want to point out, this was years ago. Alpha Genesis probably doesn't feel like this anymore he probably doesn't think like this i don't know uh i hope not though you know i hope he's moved past this sort of way of thinking it's um it's it's not a very constructive way of thinking it's uh it's a trap that a lot of guys fall into she basically makes beta males drool over her thinking that maybe you know they'll get lucky if they, but you know that shit never happens but um it's interesting how he says she makes beta males think that they might get a chance with her and then he kind of says, you know, but that never happens. And, and the look that he does at that point, it almost seems like he's like, man, that, that's, what I, that's what happened with me, man. Like, that's the sense that I get from that part. Thinking that maybe, you know, they'll get lucky. If they, but, you know, that shit never happens. But um, I don't know, dude. It's just, it is messed up if you think about it. Like, think about it. That's her hustle. She goes to these conventions. She has a bunch of these cringe lords, you know, these, these fat cunts with their backpacks walking around her, you know, smelling her. You know how dogs smell each other's asses? That's kind of how it is at conventions. You know, they smell each other's asses. Um, they, you know, sniff each other's butts for a little while, and then they go about their business, and then they go eat some Taco Bell. And so now he's kind of talking a lot of shit about the conventions. Again, I think that's just, you know, in his head, he's trying to find these reasons to insult her and what she does and, you know, her line of work, which she's a cosplayer and, uh, everything about her now, he's kind of, you know, assigning these negative meanings to, to it all. You know, and then they, the, the cosplayers, after they're done getting their butt sniffed, they go on Twitch, and they can have more people drool on them. This time, they can just have people actually have the balls to say dirty stuff to them since it's over the internet. 
but it's it's just like yo man this is messed up like this shit is not right and I'm speaking out on it and that's why I'm making this a MGTOW video because cosplayers take advantage of men they use them for their own gain to work their own hustle and it's not right and look guys I'm gonna say this like I I think I said this already but like I'm not gonna say every cosplayer is fake I'm sure there's actual people who do that who are legit into that scene you know who like anime who like superhero movies but I'm sure there's a lot of fake girls out there who don't care about any of that stuff and who are just trying to get money off of men and I think that's so messed up dude and it shows you you know like the experience I had with this girl all they care about is their own hustle that's all they care about all they care about is having being popular you know what I'm saying having a lot of views um, having a lot of followers on twitch having a lot of you know people message you on twitter how cool you are oh you're so cool now this cosplayer who he's talking about you know i don't know how their industry i don't know really how it works but i imagine the more followers she has on twitter the more fans she has the more all of that going for her the more successful she's going to be in her field but now you can just see that he's so upset about it and he's got this whole idea that all those things are negative when before he was like, man, maybe I can get with her. Maybe I can have a chance with her. And, uh, you know, this isn't an attack on Alpha Genesis, baby. I'm telling you, so many of these young guys feel this way now. And that's why we're talking about it. So if you relate, you can sort of snap out of that. Because it ain't going to get you nowhere good. We're going to change the way you see the world, all right? Thanks for letting me sniff your butt at the Comic-Con. You know, thanks, thanks for letting me see your boobies. Um, you know, even though they don't get to see the whole enchilada, you know, I guess they just... A cuck, you know, they take what they can get. That's what that's what beta males do. They take what they can get, man. I feel sorry for them. I really do. But yeah, I, w I was thinking in my mind, I was like, man, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any competition with this girl because she's around virgins all day. But apparently, man, that didn't mean nothing to her. That didn't mean nothing to her. And what does that say about her? Either she's a beta male cuck herself, or she just cares about money. Hold on, can girls be beta male cucks? I, I don't know if girls can be that or not. But no, on a serious note, like at that point, he says, you know, she didn't want to be with me, therefore she is this or she is that or she's because she didn't want to give him a chance, right? And again, that's just the, like, that's the nice guy, um, you know, mentality. Is she doesn't want to be with me, she doesn't want to give me a chance, so she's a bad person. And what they just fail to realize is that in our human life, who we want to be with is our own choice, right? Like, like, who you want to be with, who you choose to message back, who you choose to associate yourself with, it's all your choice. And if she, cho if she chooses to not associate with you, not message you, not be with you, that's okay. You don't have to get mad about it. It doesn't serve you in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, what it will do is detract from your life and your own accomplishing goals that you want to succeed in. You're going to worry about this girl, then it, this girl, then it. Quit worrying about them girls, baby. Do your damn thing, all right? And once you reach where you want to get to in life, which if it's somewhere good, them ladies going to be all over you, brother, because they're going to see some value in you. But until that happens, they're going to lump you in with a whole bunch of other dudes who they don't necessarily see any value in. And that's not where you want to be. You'll often hear these guys talk about the whole 80-20 thing. They say um, 80% of the girls go to the top 20% of the guys. That's what they say a lot, right? And if they want to see the world that way, hey, that's their point of view that they can see the world from. But instead of complaining about it and saying, I wish it wasn't this way, if that's how you see the world, why wouldn't it be your goal to get into that top 20%, right? I'd probably say both, honestly. Uh, with some of them, I'd probably say both. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm, I'm sure this video is very entertaining to watch. So it I, was. I hope you enjoyed. Be careful who you talk to, man, especially online. Uh, it's hard to tell when you talk to someone online. If I was talking to this girl in real life, I may be able, I might have been able to smell the fake on her a little bit sooner. But how is it fake though? How is it fake that she didn't want to message you back? She was trying to be nice is what it was. She was trying to be nice. Uh, chances are she probably didn't even want to message you back in the first place, but she was trying to be nice. But man, it really is hard to tell sometimes. It's hard to tell who's real and who's fake in the game. And you really got to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to get your heart broke, guys. And don't be like me because... Lady Danger, you broke my heart, baby. She didn't break your heart. Come on. How you gonna say she broke your heart because she didn't want to message you back? Again, guys, don't think that way.
It's because you built up these expectations and shit, right? Like fantasizing over it's gonna work with her. We're gonna be in a relationship. She's the one. Like you can't think that shit, all right? If you start working out with them, cool. You can start getting some hopes, babe. But until that happens, don't you get any hopes up. Cause you're gonna get them hopes crushed hard and you're gonna be having a broken heart. I can't believe he said she broke his heart. <laughs> no, I thought what we had was real, but What? I guess not. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching, man. What do you mean you thought it was real, baby? It was just, it was, what do you mean? I, I love, hey, I want to tell you, I love Alpha Genesis, man. I think he's funny as shit. I know he says a lot of controversial stuff that most of it I don't agree with at all. Let me be very clear about that. I hope y'all found some value in this, some entertainment. If so, go ahead and smash that thumbs up for YouTube's algorithm. Hey, and watch this video next that just popped up. If you like this, you're really going to love that one, okay? Uh, if you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you so soon.